so hi guys in today's video we are going to talk about the droppers whether you are a first dropper or a second dropper doesn't matter what we are going to talk about in this video is that whether you should take a drop for IED exam that is ISER aptitude test right so many of you have asked me for this video that by yeah, I am in, like I am a second dropper I am a first dropper so is it really a good decision to take a drop for especially IED so yeah in this video we are going to answer all those questions so without wasting any time let's begin okay so first we're going to talk about the first droppers so like uh, who are taking their drop for the first time so uh, i will i will tell them that you can take a drop or like if you really want to prepare for a it exam then yes you can take a drop whether you are taking a drop for iit suppose or like for j advance or for the need exam then also you are supposed to prepare for iit exam as well because uh, if you're studying the same syllabus so i think that you should also study for the iit because there is no difference in syllabus maybe one or two percent but yeah more than equal so that's why i'm telling you that you can take a drop uh, for iit uh, if you are in a first uh, of your like first dropper okay because uh, it's fine because uh, when you are a first dropper you can you are eligible for j advanced exam you can also give neat exam and also you can prepare for iit exam so uh, you have more options and more choices of exams so for that you can prepare right and uh, also the second thing which i would like to share is that uh, whether you should take a special drop like if you are taking a first drop just for your it exam then yes you can go for that but i would really recommend that you should also give other exams too okay because it's uh, really good that if you have a more uh, number of options it will make your chances that you will get a better college right so that was everything for the first droppers let's move with the double droppers or the second droppers you may say uh, so yeah let's move with it okay so for the second dropper or the double dropper you may say i would not really suggest all of you that for the double droppers uh, like you should take a double drop for especially for your it exam but 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 like uh, if you are getting any institute or any of the college in your uh, like uh, first drop year after your first drop year if you are getting any college just go for it like don't take a double drop just go for whatever best college you are getting at the point or at that time and take a partial drop prepare for an IIT exam and do well in an IIT exam and uh, if you are getting ISER or any of other institutes such as IIC or IIT then you can uh, just uh, like jump from the, that college to ISER or any of the IIC or IIT right but but unfortunately or maybe if you are not scoring well or you didn't score well enough that you uh, you get any ISER or uh, like that then you already have taken a admission in any of the college right so your year like the second year or the uh, second uh, like double dropper wala year will not go west right you at least have covered a first year of your college uh, anyway right and uh, you won't have that regret that you you just wasted one of your like one year of your life right because sometimes what happens is we take a double drop and uh, if we won't get our uh, college uh, after uh, doing a rigorous hard work then it feels like we have wasted our time and everything and it will be just a life lesson for you and it won't work like that right so i would really suggest that if you are getting any good institute in the after your first drop right just go for it and take a partial drop and prepare for your id exam and give it uh, in the uh, next year fine also last important point for the double droppers this is not that you should specially take double drop for id exam there are a lot of students who take double drop for your neat exam right and uh, yeah neat exam i won't see any of the students who are taking double drop for uh, je because uh, for the J advance, you just get one attempt, like a re-attempt uh, to qualify J advance and you can go to IT. But after that, uh, you are not eligible. So I, I don't see much of the students in the double drop year uh, for JE exam who are preparing for JE. But if you're preparing for the need exam in your double drop while year, then yeah, by the side way or uh, side by side, you should also study for IT exam. Uh, also, your, your main focus should be need. But then uh, you should also keep studying with the uh, like uh, IT because uh, what happens is in the need, the competition is growing very drastically uh, ras and uh, for the because the seats are same right it won't uh, increase and if it in if it is increasing it won't increase by that much of number uh, which is uh, like what students are appearing in that exam right because that's why i'm telling you that if you are taking a double drop just also study for iit exam and other uh, exams also for nicers and everything but in this video we are talking for iit so yeah uh, you should also study for iit exam so i guess i have cleared my point uh, about the first droppers and the second droppers there was a lot of misconfusion with this so yeah that's that's what uh, everything was in this video and yeah hope you like this video please share the video and also keep supporting and yeah do let me know in the comment section on which topic or on what i should make my next video and that's it from my side bye bye